<laughs> oh, it's super cool. Hi. I mean, it's, it couldn't be clearer. Fun with cameras. I think these fish have been fed a few times. They're uh, this is a little pan fish swirling around, and Chelsea had the great idea of tossing some pieces of bread in there. Oh, but they're fish, I pet them. <laughs> they're so they're so used to people, I guess, that they literally are eating the bread right out of your fingers, and they grab your finger, and they don't have teeth really, like just nothing for teeth, so it's not a problem. It's really cool. I've never been able to hand feed a fish like this. Well, the day has started with some rain. This is the first day with uh, Nicole and Chelsea here. We were planning to do some paddling and cruising today, but it looks like the weather is not cooperating. We're supposed to have rain for most of the day. So we'll slowly make our, get, our, get ourselves up, have a nice big breakfast, relax, get through the locks once they open. Yeah, we'll cruise, but uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a beautiful day, so we're not going to stress about making it any major distance today. We'll just enjoy some quiet, relaxing family time. Well, after going through the locks myself for the first time, I knew I had to take Nicole and Chelsea through the locks and what better day to do it than when it's uh, raining? A little paddling adventure. There's nothing wrong with being wet when you're paddling. To paddle is to be wet. You're gonna love this. We're going into this room. They're gonna close these big doors behind us. Will it be scary? And then they're gonna drain the water out of it like a bathtub. And we're just gonna go and hopefully we don't go down the drain. Really? <laughs> Are we? Go down the drain? Yes. Yeah. Can you imagine? If we do go down the drain, just close your eyes, hold your breath. Would it, would it happen? We'll come out the other side. No, but would it happen? No. No. Because these guys will make sure we don't go down the drain. <laughs> what happens if we do? All you have to do, Chels, is hold on to the the rope, and and we'll just slowly and we'll just slowly slide down the rope. The rope is just so we don't just start going all over the place. It's not very rough or anything. No. There it goes. We're going down. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we'll wait till it's open a bit more. All right. <laughs> Whoa, she's off to the races. She's like, get me out of this. What do you say, Chels? Was that a pretty cool experience? <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. It was nice to be able to take Chelsea and Nicole through the locks. I know Chelsea loved it. Not many kids get to go kayaking through locks. More kids should get to go kayaking through the locks. Next up though, she'll get a chance to, I guess tomorrow, take a big boat through locks, which is a very different experience, but I know she's gonna enjoy that too. So we just came out of here, this yeah. section here? Exactly, the, the Davis lock. Yeah and the boat passed and he swung hard around that buoy and now we're somewhere around here where's that that island on the left here? yeah right there yeah we can squeeze through there and then we're gonna hook around go through some more narrows and this looks pretty cool this is like a narrow zigzaggy stretch until we hit jones that's our final destination is the jones is yeah jones? for today we're gonna there's one a lock right there. We're gonna stop at the top, spend the night there, and then tomorrow morning go through all four 
Okay. And how long is that going to take? Do you think? I don't think very long. I think we're only probably three kilometers away now. Okay. Three, four tops. So, you know, we could be there easily in half an hour. Nice. Bust out the wine and cheese again. <laughs> what you guys doing? Oh, hey, hey, you want to see where we are? Yeah. Okay, so we just came through here, the locks. We're into this lake right here. This island is though that island right over there. And we're gonna so we're gonna cruise past that, hook around, do it big snaky, and then we're into this narrow section. And this is where we're gonna spend the night right there. This is called Jones. It's four locks in a row. We get to go through four. You go from one lock like into the next lock, into the next lock, into the next lock. Really? Well, actually, there's one that's separate and then three that are together. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's, she's excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I'm doing that again. My mom's jumping with me, but not on the long side. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! Right now she's thinking in her head, "Why is she doing this?" I'm never gonna warm up. Count yourselves down. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Good for her. That's daddy's secret. <laughs> I think one of the coolest things about this Rideau Canal is that there's so much variety. I was expecting more big lakes and cruising around big lakes. I mean, after all, we're in a 45 foot boat. I wasn't expecting to spend, spend much time in a narrow passage like this, but there's all sorts of cool little channels and passageways that you have to take to keep following the canal. This is part of the Rideau Canal right now. We're making our way to Jones Locks, and uh, oh my god, we were just in a big lake covered with islands, and now we're winding our way through like a little wilderness meandering creek almost. I did not expect to be driving a 45 foot boat through this stuff. Let's go for a hike, Dad! Okay. I'm just so tempted to. <laughs> That's why they lock them because kids like you are too tempted to. You know what, it took, it only took them, um, it was like 1826 to 32. Six years. And probably, I'm sure thousands of people, I don't know if this was a waterfall or not, yeah. is this connected, was this connected, or these two different bodies of water that the, ch the canal connects. So it could well have been, I think this was probably, uh, yeah, either way, they have to dig it out and canal it up. And, but it's probably because from Newborough down to um, Kingston is all downhill. And so that's why we keep dropping. And so in all likelihood, this is uh, a river system that they just followed the river. And any major drop, any waterfall or rapid, they had to build a lock to get through. It's not. That's, oh, that's yeah. Okay, so it's somewhere there. There's okay. a trail. Okay. Technology. They didn't have technology when they built this lock. I've got technology. <laughs> well, I guess they had technology from that time. It was very different technology. Bingo! Le trail! 
white pine and red oaks cover much of the site. Originally, the course occupied by the locks through which water rushed only during the spring runoff. The landscape could not be divided equally for four locks in succession for flight. Oh, neat. What a cool bridge. Well, we made it. Jones Locks were the only ones here, which is incredible because it's a beautiful little spot. It's Saturday night, end of September, and we're the only ones here. I guess the weather probably scared a few people off, but not us. We're um, gonna have some burgs and a salad and probably get a good night's sleep because we have a full day tomorrow. We've got, uh, we don't have that far to go but it should be a, a beautiful day. It's supposed to be sunny, not warm, but sunny. And uh, there's some spectacular uh, islands and lakes to go through and four locks, which on their own will take us but two hours to get through. So this is Ken signing off.